So a question I'm asked a lot is about 21.9 monitors and what monitor someone should get. And in these requests, there is usually one specific point that's brought up. People are looking at 34 inch monitors, but at 2560 by 1080 resolutions, because it's just a lot cheaper than the 3440 by 1440 resolution at that kind of size. And in these requests, people are usually looking at the big question of, would it make sense for them to get a 2560 by 1080 resolution on a 34 inch monitor? And really comes down to two points. One, it's a lower price point to get that resolution at that higher size. You can see when buying that a 1440p 21 by 9 is a lot more expensive on average than a 1080p screen. But the second point is they're looking at it for easier gaming. You can run 1080p far more easily than you can 1440. But see, the problem is that 34 inch screen. It's a big monitor and whilst 2560 by 1080 is basically 2.8 million pixels, 3440 by 1440 is essentially 5 million pixels. That's a lot more pixels on your display. Now, you might be thinking, why are pixels so important? Well, think of it this way. If you have the letter S on your screen, that letter is made up of pixels so you can see it. And the more pixels that can be used to display that letter, the crisper and sharper that S will look. And that just applies to anything on your screen. Now, the big thing to note is, whilst 2560 by 1080 on, say, a 24-inch monitor would look very crisp, it's because because of the physical size of that monitor. You aren't having to spread out those pixels to cover the screen space in the same way that you are on a 34 inch monitor. And it would look pretty good. You have 2.8 million pixels to cover, not a massive amount of space. So if you had the same physically sized letter S on both a 2560 by 1080 24 inch monitor and a 34 inch monitor, that letter S would look a lot crisper on the 25 inch monitor because it has more pixels to display it. But the trade off is because it's the same physically sized letter, it'll take up more screen space on that 25 inch screen as opposed to the 34 inch screen. So on the one hand, it's much crisper, but it's larger on the 25 inch screen. But on the 34 inch screen, it takes up less space, but it doesn't look as good because it's taking up less pixels. On the flip side, if you were to give both the exact same number of pixels, the letter S would look much bigger on the 34 inch screen because in order to cover all of those pixels the same way that it does on a 24 inch screen, it's got to be much larger because those pixels are spread out so much more. And that's why 2560 by 1080 feels so big on a 34 inch screen. It feels oversized because everything's having to expand to take up the same number of pixels as it does on a smaller screen. And really, it all comes down to one thing, deep the number of pixels per inch on your screen. A 2560 by 1080 25 inch screen has a far higher DPI than a 34 inch 2560 by 1080 screen because you have a lot more pixels packed into a far smaller amount of space so there's more pixels per inch. The difference is a DPI of 111 for a 25 inch screen versus a DPI of 82 for a 34 inch screen. So 2560 by 1080 on a 25 inch screen looks great. I mean, it's not as crisp as 4K on the same screen size, but it's still pretty damn good. And to maintain that higher DPI on a 34 inch screen, you need a far greater resolution. You need more pixels in order to fill out that extra physical screen space in order to get the same number of pixels per inch. And the reason I've been using a 25 inch screen at 1080p is because a 34 inch screen at 1440 or 3440 by 1440 is a DPI of 110. Essentially, they both have the same DPI, but it's because of their different resolutions that this is the case. In order to get that extra 9 inches of screen space, you need to jump up to the higher resolution. Now, there are two arguments about 2560 by 1080 on a 34 inch monitor. On the one hand, you have the argument that 2560 by 1080 is just too low a resolution for that kind of screen size. The elements on screen are just too big and blocky. But on the other hand, if you're only gaming at this resolution, then things aren't actually too bad. Yes, 1080p gaming isn't as crisp as 1440, but I easily argue, and I know a lot of people agree with me, but of course there will be some that don't, but I argue that 1080p gaming isn't as big a difference as 1440. 40p gaming when compared to something like productivity difference when you're just casually using your computer that higher resolution is far more noticeable than the difference between higher resolution gaming and lower resolution gaming when 1080p and 1440p are concerned. Yes, don't get me wrong, there is still a noticeable difference, 
but it's not as big a difference. And so I argue that it's totally fine to play at 2560 by 1080 on a 34 inch screen. It just isn't bad. So the question is, if you are indeed looking at 2560 by 1080 resolution screens, then what is your intention for that screen? If it's for only gaming, then I support your choice. But if it's to be used for anything else, then I simply can't support the purchase. Realistically, I would say you're far better off looking at a 29 inch 2560 by 1080 screen. Really, it's the largest screen size I would recommend for this resolution. If you really want that 34 inch panel, then you need to go to 3440 by 1440. Anyway, I hope that clears up what my opinion is on 2560 by 1080 34 inch panels, as it does come up quite a lot, and I hope this video can just explain far better than me just explaining by text every single time to each individual person. But as always, guys, for anything 21 by 9 or gaming or tech related, then head over to my channel page or the Wide as Fuck website, and I'm sure there'll be something of interest there. If not, then leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see, and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon page are in the description, and Amazon affiliate links are there too. See you later.